Hello, my name is Kent C. Dodds, and I'm going to be talking about how you contribute to Angular formally. Um, so uh, this first thing is going to be how do you ask a question um, about using Angular formally. So um, the first thing I'm going to say is if it's just a question about how to use something uh, or how to do something with Angular formally, uh, this issue tracker on the GitHub page is not how you get help. There are a couple of places uh, that you can go to get help. The first one is angularformally.com with a dash there. Um, here are tons of examples of how different ways to use Angular formally. And so you simply um, type in something that you're interested in. So default options. And here we have an example of using default options. And you can look at the JavaScript and see how you accomplish that default options. And um, and if that view is not uh, big enough, then you can open it up in the next view and you can see how that is accomplished. So there are examples for a lot of different things um, and that this is a terrific way to find out how to use Angular formally. Now, uh, if there's not an example there um, or, or you, need, you still need help after looking through some of these examples, then I recommend you go to the documentation and this is docs.angularformally.com and go um, straight into the docs here and there's a getting started and a, a couple of guides in here and then also um, there's additional um, API documentation and links to other things as well. So um, yeah a lot of resources uh, oh and another big thing is this learn angular formally um, I'm an egghead IO author and so I have a bunch of egghead IO lessons um, that you can watch and um, and then I have given a talk about Angular formally that is really instructive, and um, did a just kind of a, a chat about um, using Angular formally with Code Mentor. So yeah, this is a, a fantastic resource for learning how to use Angular formally, especially if you're just getting started. But also like you have custom validation and using expression properties and template options. So uh, and even uh, default options right there. So. Yeah, lots of different things um, available for learning Angular formally. If you go through all of this and you still are having trouble um, with a particular question, uh, you still have a question, then you have two other things. Uh, first, Gitter. Uh, this is linked on docs.angularformally.com. So Gitter is a live chat. You sign in with your uh, GitHub username and, and or, or they sign in with your GitHub account and then you can chat on here and um, yeah, then you can ask questions live. And if I'm on, then I'll, um, I'll be able to help. Um, and if I'm not uh, at work or something, and then there's uh, 113 people, and it, it's growing every day of people who can help you. Um, if you have something that's a little bit lengthy, that isn't quick, then the mailing list is uh, your next resource that's really helpful. Um, and so you can join this mail, uh, mailing list, you just sign up and yeah, you can con register through a couple different services and then um, ask your question on the mailing list and we've got several people on there as well. Uh, finally, and actually probably uh, this is a really good first step, um, is Stack Overflow. So you can ask a question on here and you can tag it with Angular formally. And uh, then you can ask your question right here on Stack Overflow. And lots of the times, uh, or lots of the time, it's not an Angular formally specific question, um, but it's something that uh, is about Angular or about JavaScript in general um, that you have, or, or like understanding that will help answer your question. So Stack Overflow is actually a great place to ask questions as well. So that is how you get help with Angular formally. First, you, you don't use the issue tracker. Um, your issue will be closed and you'll be redirected to one of these other resources. Um, go look at the examples on angularformally.com. Uh, yeah, right there. And if that doesn't help you, look at the docs. And if that doesn't help you, try Stack Overflow, the mailing list, or Gitter.